Now we know that with magic squares, the rows, columns and diagonals all add up to the same total. But here's a trick with magic squares that you might not have noticed. Let's look at this middle row. Notice that one number is larger than the middle number, one number is smaller. 12 is 5 more than 7, and 2 is 5 less. Now let's look at this middle column. Again, we have one larger number and one smaller number than the middle number. 10 is 3 more than 7, and 4 is 3 less. Or looking at this diagonal, 8 is 1 more, 6 is 1 less. Or this diagonal, 11 is 4 more, 3 is 4 less. So if you have the middle number and have one square, you can always work out the opposite square. So here's a really difficult magic square. There aren't three numbers in one row, column or diagonal. So we don't know straight away what the numbers will total. But let's take a diagonal. 24 is 4 more than 20. So this opposite square must be 4 less than 20, so 16. And now that we have a complete diagonal, we can add up the three numbers to give us 60. So we know that each row, column and diagonal must add up to 60. So now we could solve this square here or this square here. But instead, let's look at this other diagonal. 14 is 6 less than 20. So we know that the opposite square must be 6 more than 20, so 26. And if we add up 26, 20 and 14, we get 60. So now we can solve the rest of the square in the usual way, making sure that each row or column adds up to 60. 24, 14 and 22 make 60. 16, 14 and 30 make, 20, make um, 60. 30, 20 and 10 make 60. And let's solve this last square. 22 plus 20 plus 18 makes 60. So now we have a magic square where every row, column and diagonal adds up to the same number, adds up to 60.